What is up guys? Player One Gaming here. Today, tonight, almost 2 o'clock in the morning as I'm filming this, I'm going to be doing a video on four reasons why the Pittsburgh Steelers suck, or it would suck to be a fan of them. Now my friend Steeler Dude 11 made a video on why it's awesome to be a Steelers fan, and I'm going to do the exact opposite, because I've got a few things that I thought of. So let's start out with the first reason. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, this guy's great. What are you talking about? Best running back in the in the you know in the NFL. What's wrong with him? Well, it, his contract. The dude won't sign a dang contract. He turned down a fourteen. What was it? I think it was like fourteen million dollar five year contract with the Steelers because. He wanted more. He wanted seventeen million. That's I just think that's greedy and you know, he's just I don't know what he's doing. He he thinks he he's the best thing ever. He thinks he deserves way more than what he's getting. The dude's already set for life. I know Le'Veon Bell isn't watching this, but the dude needs to sign a sign a, a dang contract and just get it over with. Because it's making, it's making the Steelers look bad. Even Mike Tomlin is getting impatient with him. Now the next thing here is Super Bowl 53 symbol. Uh, the Steelers have not made a Super Bowl in almost 10 years. How relevant can a team be if they haven't made a Super Bowl in 10 years? The last time they played, or they won a Super Bowl was against the Cardinals. And they beat them, what was it, 27-23. And, you know, great, you beat the Cardinals. You know, a team that's done even less than you guys have done in the last 10 years. You found one team. But, <laughs> you know, if you, can't, if, you can't make a, if you can't make a Super Bowl, then how relevant is your team? How great is your team? Yeah, you guys are six-time... Super Bowl champions, but you haven't made the Super Bowl in, in a little while. You know, when are you, when are you, when are you going to make the Super Bowl? Oh yeah, that's right. When Tom Brady retires. The next thing, the next reason is the Steelers fan base. Probably some of the whiniest, some of the most complainingest, it's not a word, people you will ever meet. I know for a fact my 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 friend Steeler Dude Eleven, you know, he like he loves to make excuses for this team, you know. Let me give you a couple of reasons why this team is so stupid, or these fan base, I should say. So you see this score here, yeah. Steelers lost uh, twenty one points, yeah, twenty one points in this game. They lost by twenty one points, and this was just last year. In week five. So they got destroyed by the Jags. Come playoff season, and the Steelers fans are probably some of the dumbest people you will ever hear. They say, oh, the Jags are terrible. Oh, they won't beat the Steelers. Oh, you know, they're, they're, they're a Cinderella team, and it ends here. Uh, dude, week five. Remember, you guys got destroyed by the Jags? And then you know what? And now you know, everyone was saying Pats versus Steelers, number two, second game in the season. You know what's gonna happen? AFC Championship game, and then losing the divisional round. And then Patriots ended up beating the Jags anyway. So yeah, you guys are pretty stupid. Fourth reason. They can't beat the dang Patriots. Look at this. This is just last year. This is their only this is their only shot at beating us because they couldn't beat Jacksonville. So, yeah, we've got that. Steelers can't seem to get a win over the Pats when t when Tom Brady's at quarterback. Let me give you a few other reasons. Oh, we've got that one. You know. We got the conference championship game. Look at that score down there. 
<laughs> 10 points in the first quarter, 0 for Pittsburgh. 9 and 7, 16 and 0 in the third quarter. They scored 16 points on the Steelers in just the third quarter alone. Look at that. Look at that. It's great. Look at that. Look at that uh, record there. And look at their record. Six losses. <laughs> what losers? Come on, man. Oh, uh, yeah, we got this one. 2015 game. Oh, th I thought this one was hilarious. Steelers versus Patriots. This is the 2013 game. Steelers versus Patriots final score. New England wins 55-31, which was the most points Pittsburgh has ever allowed in a game. The Steelers hit a, hit a historic low in a complete thrashing at the hands of the New England Patriots. The 55 points allowed sets a new franchise record for points against in a single game. I, I just thought that was hilarious. So, yeah. Can't beat the Pats. Uh, the dumbest fan base. Um, can't Go, haven't made a Super Bowl in forever, yet they want to say that they're the greatest ever. P please, and then you know you're gonna you're gonna hear all the Steelers fans complaining. You know they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna be like, oh, we should have won that game against the Pats. Uh, you know the refs cheated, blah blah blah. Technically the call was correct, even though it was fixed, and yeah, it was a stupid rule, and they fixed it. It was still in effect at the time, so the call was correct. But no, they want to go out and complain and make excuses about it. And they want to put down other teams and they want to play down to their opponent's level. At, at, at that point, of all these reasons, I would be embarrassed to be a Steelers fan. And I'm glad I'm not. Thanks for watching.